TVA Hangar Bay. All right, everyone, welcome to TVA Hangar Bay Test. Today I'm going to show you the four star 41 Chopper Plus. Uh, I found this one on Amazon, it's $29. We five dollar coupon got four point five star, which seems pretty legit. So I'm going to do some unboxing today and show you and do some review on it and see if it's a good buy or you know don't buy it. It's just not useful. So I'm going to do some testing for you guys. First of all, unboxing. Okay. So we got this one. I think this one's a man. Like you can switch your blade. Caution: Never touch the blade with your finger. Yep. This is one. So I think this has a finger guard. And I'm going to just put it here first. Give you guys a rough idea what is in the box. Okay. okay. And this is a cleaning. We will show you guys and we, I will review how easy or it's difficult to clean this four star 41 food chopper. And I think this is also a cleaning equipment. Okay. As you can see, this is a different, I think it's a different size split, right? It's a different size split. And I'm gonna teach you how to have an instruction video here, teach you how to clean it safely. And here's two, I think it's a brush to kind of, if something was left on there, you can just brush it down. <clears throat> here's a user manual. <laughs> and the container is pretty big. I think it can fit pretty good amount of food in there. And that is our unboxing here. As you can see, the four star 41 chopper plus. You can see here, you have the medium blade, small blade, skin is called spiral blade, and it has a ribbon blade and a finger guard. All right, this is our unboxing right now. And I also find out one thing is a little concern, but not too much big of a deal. So, you know, when you change this, it was super easy. You unlock it, you leave it up, you're good to go. But when I check it out on the spiral and also ribbon one, it's kind of tricky. So if you look at here, here's a little hole. You know, you're gonna put your finger here, and you're gonna lift it up. You gotta put some pressure right there to put it in and put it out. So yeah, you're gonna get some time to use to it. But put it in and out to the main, the platform was easy, just like the bigger one and a small one blade. But for these two to switch to swap it out was kind of tricky. All right, so second stage, I'm going to let you guys see what the test element I'm going to use on different blade. All right, the first one, the medium, I can call it large. I'm going to use a potato, you know, to simulate when you want to make a french fries on your own, you know, be healthy. And the second one, for the small one, I'm trying to use a tomato to see if it will go through smoothly or it will stuck on it, not clean. And as you can see here, right, this one is the ribbon one, you can see here. The ribbon, I'm not sure if the camera, yep, here, you can see, you have a tip in there, right, so when you come out, it's like a ribbon. Then the last one is the spear rule, so you can see here, right, compared to the ribbon one, there's no blade. I mean, there's a blade, but there's no tooth, right, there's just clean shot. Okay, so I'm going to use a cucumber on these two, and this one, the carrot, I'm trying to use right on both, right, to see how it goes, and if it will go through sharp enough, easy to clean, you know, if it look good. All right, so the first one, I'm going to test in the medium blade with the potato, right? Just like when we're about to make french fry, hash brown, anything you want to make it like this big cube, right? So first of all, I'm going to leave this up easy, as I said earlier, right? You put it in, you lock it, make sure you lock it. So when you come in up and down, up and down, this is not going to go with the, the element in there, right? So we're going to the small one first, just like this. Okay, not bad, not bad. So, uh, Medium one, maybe, see. Okay, it's kind of harder when you get them bigger, so I'm not sure if I get a regular size potato, you know, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but. Okay, that's pretty good. And as you can see, right, I'm not sure if you can see, you can see right here, it's, it's already have some, some peel left on it, right? So I'm gonna see at the end, when you get them bigger and bigger, that's gonna be more, right? So this is the biggest one I got in my fridge. Mm. Pretty clean, right? Nothing left there. Even if prepare the full square for just in case there's something there, I need to put it down. So I'm not going to use it all the way, so you know I can leave it as a compare. And look at it. 
Not bad, right? Pretty straight cut, sharp. Pretty straight, right? I'll give a, a medium play. 4.505, right? And the way the half point is because when I'm getting bigger, um, when I need to like, kind of push it down, I can't worry about this plastic. I'm not sure if this plastic will hold it or you want to push it down on some harder stuff, okay? So next, let's check the small block of tomato. All right, let me change the element real quick. And let me mention, let me mention real quick, okay? Like one thing I really like it. As when you finish, you don't need to wash the whole thing. I mean, even you, you can wash this. I need to find out how to take this. I need to find out how to take this down, right? But at least for here, you just unlock it, you leave it up, you wash this. This stay dry. All right, all right, let me go wash it, and I'm going to test the second element. All right, all right. So we come back for the second test. So you can see this one, right? The place actually smaller than this. I was in a probably every four square is one of these. So I like one to four, you know, like as you can see. Uh, let me make it smaller so you can fit in here, right? But you also can fit in here, right? I think that's pretty smart, pretty legit design. So let's use the tomato, as I say. Since I say easy, you put it in, you lock it up. Secure. Actually, it's secure before you start using it. So I'm going to put one tomato first. Just put one slice to see. Okay, so you can see it's pretty hard. Oh, well, I don't think it's too good. For oh, sure, right? Let me see. Let me poke it. Yeah, here we go through. Maybe it's just not really good with the tomato. I'm not sure. Let me wash it first and let me let me see. Let me see how it goes. Let me wash it and let me try it again. All right, I'm back. It's clean. You can see the blade is clean. Right, I'm going to try one more time. All right. Let me see. That's weird. I can see here. Yeah, it's not really going through unless I use the wrong tomato. So I'm going to keep the tomato, right? I wouldn't say it's good for tomato, but let me try with a potato. Maybe it would be really good if you want to make some hash brown, you know? Let me get a potato come here real quick. One second. All right, the All right, potato is here. The tomato wasn't that, wasn't that good. Okay, wasn't that good. Just be honest. Same thing, you lock it, secure, make it safe. You put it in the middle, you press it down. That's pretty good, right? I don't know how the tomato just didn't go through, it's stuck. Okay. Even if you need to kind of punch it, it's still going through really sharp, as you can see here. Like, pretty sharp. Like, I wouldn't say it's good for hash brown, I wouldn't say it, but pretty good for your fries. If you want to make a fries at home, it's pretty good. Like, surprisingly. Let me keep it here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to wash these. I'm going to wash these and clean it. I'm going to change the spiral with a cucumber and carrot and see how it performs. All right, this is our third testing element. We're going to use a carrot and cucumber. I didn't, get a, I didn't find a big one, I only find this one. I'm going to test it with the, as you can see here, there's no tooth in there. So this one is a spiral one, it's not a ribbon, okay? So I'm going to, as I say, it's kind of tricky. You put it in, same thing, you put it here, so here, make it safe. Uh, once I want to mention, give you the finger guard. I think that's for the, you know, if you tore the end, you know, like you don't want your finger was too close to the blade. You can use these two and twist it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good idea. Like you, because in an old food chopper, you always want to make sure your finger was not close to it. Like as you can see, like, from here, that was when I was trying to cook, when I tried to chop some like carry or cucumber, and when I slip, you slip it through, and the skin is gone. Right, that's pretty scary. So that's pretty cool. You got a finger guard here. So I'm going to start with a cucumber, as you see here. I'm going to put it here. You just keep it rotate, okay, rotate, and then let me see. Okay, 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 so it's coming out like this. Not bad, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say surprise, as a surprise as a potato, but not bad. And I want to see, how can you get this out here, see? Okay, it will come out, okay, not bad. Let me try it more. Okay, okay. Oh, that's so satisfying, I just couldn't stop it. Okay, okay, oh, so you actually leave the middle, so you don't get a middle, that's pretty cool, right? I don't know how we design, how it works, but I guess it worked out. And here, coming up, wow, 
That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to put a cucumber here and I'm going to test it with a carrot. Let me see how the carrot performs. I think I have pretty high faith on it. Like, it's pretty good. It performed pretty well. No, no, no. Alright, so carrot. Let's go. Let me see. It's still the same thing, okay? Carrot is kind of hard because it's a little bit harder than a cucumber. But once you get going, you should rotate. Okay, I see. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, let me get this out. You see, in the middle, it's the same thing as a cucumber. Like, wow, it looks look pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's in purpose. That's not in purpose, but it still looks pretty cool, right? And let me look at it. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, looking pretty good. Like, the thickness, mm, not bad, pretty good. I would say it's pretty good. So I'm going to put the carrot and cucumber. I'm going to use this carrot again on the ribbon one. Okay, so let me go swap it on the blade and let's come back to finish the last testing element, right, with the ribbon blade. Stay tuned. All right, so we come to the fourth element. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just change it, you know, I'm going to change in front of you guys. You see, this is the same as the third one. It's the one with no tooth, okay? So I'm going to be really careful. The blade is really sharp, so I'm going to watch out my finger, do not stick it into here. Push some force, also from the back, and push up. But watch out the play, okay? Watch out the play. Again, the ribbon one, I'm not sure. If can, yeah, you see, you can see the tooth right there, right? You put it here, here's a little, you, in here, push down. That's good to go. You put it in, lock it up, good to go. Right, cucumber first. Okay, one thing is, I think cucumber is too hard, and if you do it too quick or you just rush to it, there's a chance, there's a chance you might break it, right? So when you're using it, keep it in mind, be gentle, keep keep the momentum, you see? Why not? If I change it a bit, it's easier. Okay, I'm not gonna do too much, just waste the food. Okay, here, you see? This one's different. This one that we have, the, like, the, like the one you see here, this one is clean, or maybe I just snap it, who knows? We're gonna see from the carrot. Let me see. Okay, what? what? Hmm. Okay, this is for sure like a ribbon neck. You can see here it's really compared to the spear roll. Right? This is spear roll, this is a ribbon. I think this one pretty cool if you want to put it on pasta or something. And this one I think will be really cool to do some like a decoration on a plate or if you want to eat it with a sauce, pretty good too. So let me get this out and let's try the carrot. I wanna see how carrot will perform in the ribbon one. The only thing I don't like is like when you do this, the water coming out. So maybe that is normal. I'm not sure, quite sure on that. And you can see here, you already have some cucumber stuck, right? You already have some stuck in there. So I'm not gonna clean it. I just wanna see in a real life situation, we need to cook something, we need to chop cucumber, carrot, how will coming out? Real life scenario. Same thing, put it in. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this one, the spear, the ribbon one, is not as in as a spear line. You don't get like the, the tail. You just clean cut. Hmm. That's interesting. Let me see how it come. Okay, the coming out. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to use a bigger, maybe a bigger carrot because you can see it's kind of short. Right? Maybe the maybe the angle I use is wrong. Maybe let me see. Maybe. Maybe just the an angle. So if I hold it and then the parallel of the blade. We come out of this. Alright, let me see. Let me see. Hold this. No, no, you can see. You kinda get stuck here. Like I would say it's not bad, but definitely not like because when you see, you can see from the uh Right, and let me get a box real quick. You can see here, like, it's also coming out like this. Uh, well, maybe I did it wrong, but for sure, not nah, looks the same. I mean, the spirit looks pretty, pretty similar because you can see that, right? It's pretty similar, but for the ribbon one, 
I wouldn't give it to a high score, but we're gonna go over the score later on the next, you know, segment um, for different blade. And as a conclusion, I'm going to tell you guys if it's coming to buy, right? Or mm, not really, you know. Okay, so let me clean this up real quick. I'm going to put all four elements of their result out so you guys can compare to it. Okay, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. I'm going to review on each blade. This one is a medium to large blade, right? With a large one, medium one, sharp. No complaint of 4.5 out of 5. 4.5 is because the you know equipment, as I said earlier, the handle when you, you know, Want to push it? I gotta push some pressure on it and kind of worry about if I break that plastic handle. But overall, the outcome perfect. So I'm going to give this 4.5 out of five on a medium blade. The next I'm going through the small blade. Small blade. I'll use some potato on it because the tomato is kind of the mess. I mean, I'm not a big fan of a tomato, however. Um, as you can see, I see it just didn't push through enough. Maybe, maybe not sharp enough. I don't know. But as you can see, it, it come out as, as it's designed as supposedly pretty good. I'm not sure if the camera can focus. Yeah, it can focus. Oh, that's pretty good. But for me, I would rather choose eat a slice directly. Why not, right? However, in the potato side, wow, sensing as a medium blend potato. I think maybe this is food sharply designed for potato. Who knows? Pretty good. No complaint at all. Four point five. This one's easier, I would say that when you push down, I think maybe you know you don't you didn't put that much pressure in one square, you just spread it out. So I would say for the small blade, I'm put it on five out of five. Let me put this away. Put this away. The next one, spiral. As you can see, no two, no two, right? Straight blade. <clears throat> Pretty cool. I never, uh, I mean I never see this one. I don't know how I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Pretty cool, no complaint. Carrot. Pretty cool, no complaint. 4.5 out of 5 because you know it's kind of tricky at the beginning when you, when you still have the front, front end, it's kind of hard. But once you pair, parallel with the blade and just keep doing, keep going smooth, nice and easy and slow, no complaint. I would say 5 out of 5, right? No complaint. The next one, the interesting one, the ribbon one. Right? Maybe I just use it wrong, but um, sure. It didn't look too bad. I just didn't know how I'm gonna use it. Right. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna waste any. Sensing as the spiral one. Once you gain there, you're getting parallel, parallel with a play with a tooth. You keep going, keep going. It's not too hard to use it. I would say four out of four, four out of five. Right. So not bad. Four out of five. And one thing I want to mention in the next session is the cleaning section. How I clean it. As you can see here, the tooth, it might be hard to like cleaning. I'm going to show you the equipment, the counter box, the cleaning equipment, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back everyone. I'm going to start with the medium, the large one. It's very really easy. The medium one, it, you just poke it, poke it. If you see anything left in there, maybe you took the toothbrush, you brush it. Easy, and you rinse it out. Once you rinse it out, it, basically the debris definitely just, just gone, just disappear. The harder, more difficult one is these two because you can see the spit is narrow. Right now, it's easy. And I try to use these to kind of poke it. I'm not gonna use my finger, right? I, I got this water going here. I'm gonna use my finger. Kind of poke it, but um, on a spiral side, it's not hard. As you can see, it's pretty clean. It's easy. You just use this kind of poke it, poke it, poke it, and be good. However, the tricky one is the ribbon one. So when I try to clean it, I try to do the same thing and kind of poke it. But I see maybe this is kind of too. The tooth is too big for the gap here, so it's not like really going through. But I find really good toothbrush, brush, brush, brush. Everything got clean, and I find out like some of the as you see here in the front here, it will stay here. I'm sure you can see it will stay here. Why did I, I use this one? It comes with box, pretty handy. You put in there, you poke it, poke it, rinse it. Everything's clean. On the cleaning side, I would say with a clean equipment, it comes with five out of five. No issue. Easy. You rinse it off. You brush it. There's still left. You use this and this to pick it up, rinse it off. Easy. So stay tuned. I'm going to the next section. All right. To the final conclusion, with a four star forty one chopper plus, I'm pretty sure majority product on the market. 
the, the concept for the design is pretty similar unless there's some different brand. They do some fix, they do some troubleshooting based on the customer review or rating. But this one, I would say I would give the sentence a one from Amazon 4.5 star, but I might lower it to four because not too much element you can use on it. Like you can see the spear is pretty good ribbon. I need to find a way how to use it, but the four, the small one, I think I can only use on a potato. So maybe, or maybe, maybe if I frozen, if I freeze the tomato, make it harder, maybe when you go through the, the small blend, it might be better. But you know, if everybody, anybody have this one or the similar food chopper and you try it, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, $29 with a $5 coupon. I, I, I couldn't ask too much, but will I buy it again? No, and I see on Amazon, the price range was from $19 to $30. I wouldn't pay more than $24 because to be honest, like other than, other than potato, I probably can just use a knife, right? Like you can cut this with a knife. You're probably not gonna cut it with this with knife, but $25 seems pretty legit price. If you go over 30, I would think twice. All right, so it come to the end of today's review on the food chopper from Full Star 41 Food Chopper Plus. Um, if you like my video and you want to see more, I'm going to do more uh, from Amazon just randomly. It's not paid promotion. It's nothing to do with a seller. I bought this product with my own money, do the honest review. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to the TVA Hanger Bait. I'm going to do the test at least once a week, twice a week. Stay tuned for the next test. All right, thank you everyone.